Across East Texas, food pantries provide a life-giving service to communities both big and small. And today, those who make it happen came together in Tyler for the East Texas Food Bank's annual agency conference in hopes of walking away with new ideas and inspiration. I grew up, I lived on Prosperity Street in Dallas, Texas, but nobody was wealthy on Prosperity Street. Married at the age of 17, Cheryl Jackson and her husband fell on hard times. As is the case for many people, hard times meant hunger. I applied for food stamps and nobody in my family knew that we were even hungry. But with a little help and a lot of faith, things turned around. And now years later, Cheryl finds herself running one of the largest food pantries in North Texas, named after her mother, Minnie. So I started out on this journey of just feeding the hungry with two cans of corn. And I said, what would life be like if someone who needed something as simple as their next meal could have a red carpet rolled out in front of them? Today, Jackson is in Tyler sharing her story with those who feed the hungry at pantries right here in East Texas. We've got about 200 people registered uh, across our 26 county area. And these are the people that really do the heavy lifting in serving their communities food from the East Texas Food Bank. And the CEO of the East Texas Food Bank says while food insecurity numbers are on the decline, the needs for those who are food insecure are rising. Expiring SNAP benefits, um, some other barriers that are becoming more difficult with uh, getting benefits assistance, and also inflation is uh, really making a lot of foods more out of the reach of our families. And today, the people feeding those families are leaving with fresh ideas and renewed inspiration. All it takes is a heart to help. Uh, I didn't have a blueprint, I had a God print that just says feed the people. And a lot of people, I will tell them that this journey has not been easy. I mean, going through this journey of trying to feed